Introducing our brand new course, Biostatistics and Big Data Analysis from Scratch. Here you can ask a question that how you can see the distribution of data in R. Please don't worry, we will explain it to you in the next video tutorial. Data frame and some pieces of information as a matrix as well. In simple okay. words, it's pretty important because they can heavily influence the statistical analysis of our data. We hope so. Up till this we'll point, press the control enter key to execute this code. Now look at the console and the environment tab of your R Studio. In the console, we are not getting any error message. It means that you can have our some pieces of information as vector and some pieces of information as a data frame and some pieces of information as a matrix as well. In, sim in most of the newborn babies, the serum bilirubin level is normal. But some babies may have elevated level of the serum bilirubin that may result as a joint data. So we will type data. After typing the data, we will type the dollar sign to select our column or the variable. As you know that we are working with the age variable. So we will select the age here. After typing the age, we will come out of the parenthesis in your R. And you should observe this type of the output in the console. We hope so that now you will be comfortable with the concept of the list and also you will be comfortable to create the list by your own in R. Stay tuned.